I N. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks, and let's make it a great week. Don't make, us, don't make assumptions. Ask for what you want. Find the courage to ask for what you want. Others have the right to tell you yes or no, but you always have the right. Likewise, you have the right to ask folks what they want, and they have the right to say yes or no. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrial closed down 128. NASDAQ off 82, S&P's down 12 and a half. Gold contract down $9.30, trading at 14.14 an ounce. Silver, off 19 cents, $16.43 an ounce. Light sweet crude, up 4 cents, $55.92 a barrel. Notes and bonds, you get the 10 year down 7 ticks, 30 off 18. Both of them folks, bottom line pullback, not enough volume, haven't broken swing points. They still want higher price, lower yield. King dollar. That's where the fight is out here. King dollar up 88 ticks, trading 97,540. It's laying right next to its high of May, which is 97,715. I expect you're going to see it get hit. The euro is trading at a 111 price point. The yen is at 108.67, and the pound is at 124 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. We take a look at the SPY. What you're going to see with the SPY is this, folks. SPY closed at $299.97. We have a slew of numbers that have come out after the close. We'll go through those numbers. Uh, let me just pull this up here for a second. There we go. And what you're going to see is that the SPY right now is laying out here at the 300 mark. 303 is the ABC structure on the way up. NDX 100, if you want to see something that is wild, man, holy cow. Coming into the close, this was wild as you can get. So if we pull this back a little, what you're going to see is this. Right now, the NDX 100, these are the futures. The futures trade uh, 20 bucks a point, folks. Uh, Amazon come out with their numbers. This dove down to 79.17, okay? And then <laughs> give it three minutes later, and we're at 79.85, okay? So bottom line, we just moved 60 points topside once again. Why? Because Google is up, Intel is up, Starbucks is up. Gold contract, what are we up with the gold contract? Gold contract out here, back down. We come down $9.30. Bottom line, we'll see how this handles uh, tomorrow. It's always dangerous, um, you know, coming into the Friday when gold has been going south. We're at 14, 14 an ounce. And what that's going to be about, of course, is it's all about King Dollar. And it does look to me that good old King Dollar is going to uh, try to at least test that high uh, of May tomorrow. 97,715 is the number. Now, let's go over to uh, Amazon. We take a look at Amazon first. Amazon come out with this numbers. Amazon closed at $1,973. Right now, it's $1,948. Um, this thing was already uh, another 30 points lower, uh, folks. So uh, bottom line, just hang tight for a bit. Uh, this is going to be trading all over the place. The uh, earnings per share, uh, the sales estimate had been $62.5 billion. They did $63.4 billion. The uh, earnings per share, uh, $5.57. They missed that. They did $5.22. Let's go over to Google and we take a look at Google. Uh, Google closed at 11.32. That's trading at 12.06. So uh, bottom line, and if we take a look at this, what you're going to see with the Google deal, it just I felt that it was kind of going to come into this gap up here. Why? Because the way it was trading out here today was rejecting lower price. So the gap, see the bottom of that gap is 11.75, and if you, uh, 12, 11.92 is the top. So that's going to jump up to that level. So let's see what Google has to say. Um, the estimate, Google revenue estimate was 30.84 billion. Man, they did a lot. They almost did another billion. They did 900 million more. 31.71 billion. That's what they did. They. Um, Let's see. That's revenue. Where is your... There we go. Okay. So, let's see. Cost per click. Cost per click is still going down. Uh, 
Oh, but that's interesting. The estimate cost per click, they thought it was going to go down 19%. It only went down 11. Uh, operating income. Up, oh, my God. That's pretty amazing. Their operating income, folks, quarter over quarter is up 39%. Huge. Earnings per share. I have, no, I have no idea what they have in this earnings per share number, folks, but someone's, w once we dissect this, we'll find out. Um, last year, they did $4.54. This year, they did $14.21. So you're talking about a monster number uh, year over year, no doubt about that. SBUX, let's go to take a look at Starbucks and see what Starbucks uh, is doing out here. Starbucks closed at $90.98. This is trading right now at 96. Whoa, baby, that's a, that's a number, man. 96, look at this, man. This is something else. This has been a one-way deal on Starbucks in an incredible way. Look at this. 2007, Starbucks was $3.53. And you know what's amazing about that, too? If you remember, we were, I was talking about this quite a bit because the, the people that... And this is where companies just in general like really know how to basically move their own stock. They, they gave their employees what looked like a good deal, but it wasn't a good deal. They just wanted to get rid of huge amounts of stock, which they ended up doing. Not all, you didn't have to take the deal, but a lot of employees did. And that was a bad deal that it took. Uh, they, gave it, they gave the employees uh, different incentives. And I remember this so well because I go to Starbucks so much, I was telling every one of those employees, do not take it, do not take it. And, you know, I, I don't know who took it and who didn't, but I'll tell you something, the ones that didn't just made a fortune because the bottom line is that we're at $99 right now, uh, $98. And so Starbucks, what they're saying is this, their comp sales, uh, they're raising their forecast, their comp sales was plus 6%, they were looking for plus 4.2%. Uh, earnings per share, they were looking at 73 cents. They did 78 cents. Um, and if this is, when we start looking at this, if this is the growth, uh, you know, they're, they're in China. Uh, but there's another coffee company. I forget the name of it. You see them many more times than Starbucks. Uh, but guess what? Uh, they, they have uh, a lot of growth in front of them uh, if, in fact, that that's what that is. Intel, let's go just take a look at Intel. Uh, Intel out here also just come out with numbers. Intel closed at 52.16. That's trading 54.46. So you can see the type of juice uh, that's putting in that NDX 100. That NDX 100 wants to go. Uh, don't be too surprised if by the end of the show is that, um, you know, that Amazon has, has come back up. Stay right there, folks. Come right back when I'm at Mr. Basil Chapman.